Well, this massive addition to the WNBA will also come with some extra perks for Portland. Sport Oregon, which tracks sports economics across the state, says the city is expected to see a boost in revenue. K2's Emily Gersh has a closer look at the economic impact. We're now going to have 20 home games for a new franchise, and that's going to mean national attention on our hometown and our home state. This is going to be, as Lisa has talked about, a huge economic shot in the arm for the entire region. You may remember last year when Senator Ron Wyden and Sport Oregon CEO Jim Edsel urged WNBA Commissioner Kathy Engelbert to choose Portland as home for an expansion team. At that time, more than 140 businesses had signed a letter to Engelbert supporting the idea, including Adidas, Moda, TriMet, and Alaska Airlines. And compared to the Portland Fire's short stint from 2000 to 2002, Edsel says times have changed. But the economics today are far different in professional sports, no matter what league you're talking about, 20 years ago versus today. Edsel says since then, three different WNBA ownership groups have tried to bring a team back to Portland, which he says speaks for itself. I think that's extraordinary and... Uh, and unprecedented. And while he's not sure how many jobs the franchise will bring to the region, he says they'll need enough people to run an arena of 10 to 14,000 people 20 days a year. We're talking front office jobs, high paying jobs that are going to exist, construction jobs because we're going to have to build a practice facility for both this and the Thorns. And as Senator Wyden mentioned, the national attention on the Rip City is going to have ripple effects. What it does for the hospitality industry, hotel room nights, restaurants, and retail is pretty extraordinary, both from the fan bases coming to the Rose Quarter campus, but also in supporting the surrounding businesses. But also, it's going to be a regional draw for fans, so people from around the state and region are going to come watch games, probably spend a night, make a weekend of it or a week of it in Portland. That was Emily Gersh reporting. Etzel tells K2 Sport Oregon is going to be keeping track of the revenue of the new franchise, telling us he's determined to make sure the team stays here. We'll continue to cover this historic announcement in the coming days and weeks, including what the team's name will end up being and their logo. For the very latest on Portland's newest team, be sure to visit katu.com.